Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm in the Hampshire village of Greywell, and this is called Deptford Bridge, not to be confused with Deptford Bridge in London. This is the River Whitewater. What we're going to do today, we're going to go for a walk. We're going to see more of this river later. But we're going to go for a walk along the old Basingstoke Canal to find an abandoned tunnel and a ruined castle. So I've just come down across the fields. We're almost at the Basingstoke Canal. So on this walk, as I said, we're going to go and walk along the canal. And that's where we should find King jo Well, it's locally known as King John's Castle. I think officially it's called Odium Castle. And then we'll continue to Greywell Tunnel because I've always wanted to... Well, I say I've always wanted to see the tunnel. I have been here before. When I was quite a young child, came here with some friends of ours who lived in the area and we walked along the canal, we looked at the castle and I remember this was where we left the, the canal, at this, well, so it's like a drawbridge, it would tilt back this way if a boat needs to come by, so this in itself is quite an exciting feature, you know, that's, that's what we've mainly come to see, the castle. So that's looking down the canal towards Basingstoke, we're going to head this way as if we were heading back towards London. Although the canal didn't actually go to London, it would have joined other waterways. So the castle is just along here somewhere. So, this castle, known as King John's Castle, it was built by King John in the early 1200s. And it was from it was built to be here because it's about halfway between Windsor and Winchester. It was from this castle he would have ridden to Runnymede to sign the Magna Carta. When he died, he gave the castle to his son. King Henry III. Henry III gave, his car, gave the castle to his sister Eleanor. Eleanor married Simon de Montfort, but he rebelled against the king and he died at the Battle of Evesham. So the castle eventually went back to the crown because Eleanor went into exile. In the 1300s it did house Parliament at least once and then um, after that you know it kind of continued to exist. It held King David II of Scotland. He was in prison there for 11 years. And then eventually by the 15th century, it just became simple hunting lodge. And then by the 1600s, it was described as a ruin. So it's basically, it's a ruin we're going to see. I remember it. So it had been some point in the nineties, we last came here. I'm here today on a summer's day. It's quite pleasant. I remember it being incredibly muddy. We had, um, I remember we had two push chairs, so there was like my parents and my our friends. They had so we were we were all young children. And we were walking along here with two push chairs, and you could barely push them. I think they were basically carrying these push chairs along here. It was the muddiest walk I think I ever remember doing. But what happened was we started at the other end at Greywell, and we came down over the tunnel uh, to the castle. And as I said, we went that way. And my kind of last remem memory of that was the bridge back there. I'm doing it the opposite way around, so I'm just going to continue along here now, and I think soon we'll come to King John's Castle. I'm just come a little way up the canal in search of this castle where the young king would have ridden from to sign the Magna Carta. Ah, there we go. I can just see some masonry just there. I'm sure we can get a closer look. So I think what we see there is the keep. There'd have been more buildings out this way, but I understand it is really only the keep that survives for us to look at today. We'll go in now and have a look around. So the canal continues that way. Oh, and thinking about it, when we were back at the swing bridge, I said that, I said it the wrong way around. That way is looking towards Basingstoke. When I was there, that way is looking towards London. So correction, I said that the wrong way around. Anyway, here we go. Look, there it is, Odium Castle. In front of us, historic ruin. It says we're welcome. So let's go and explore the ruins. It would have been an octagonal castle, an eight-sided tower, as we can clearly see. Got looking at it sort of flat on, you can see the sides. So I don't know if the whole tower survives at this stage. In fact, I know it doesn't because I remember when I was little, there was one section missing. So this is probably the most complete side of the castle. Let's go around here. Now it looks like it's all fenced off, so we may not be able to go inside, which is a bit of a shame, but we'll, we'll see. Might just be they fence this bit off. Maybe they're worried about falling masonry. I can see through through there. It might not be figured out and come and see interpretation. So possibly we can go in around the other side. We'll find out shortly. So yeah, see what I mean about how there's a some sides of the keeper missing. Oh, this is exciting. Look, see this thing here. This view is basically a picture of the castle. If I can line it up. 
I don't know how well that worked, but it, the idea is it shows you with the sun shining on it, it might be hard, but it's to show you what it would have looked like to help you build your imagination. So from looking at it, I can see there'd have been floors where it's quite obvious that's where some floorboards would have gone into the walls. I expect somewhere there'd have been a spiral staircase in the structure. I don't know if that remains today. I somehow think it possibly doesn't. Let's walk around here. I'm hoping there's going to be a door around here. I mean, this fencing, I don't think makes it look great. Ooh, and um, there's a random little hut here. What's in here? It's probably locked. Okay, yeah, it's padlocked up, but there's a random little hut. Anyway, let's go back to the castle. I think that's what we came here to see. So here we go. We get to here. If we don't go in, we'll just simply circumnavigate it, and then we'll go and find the tunnel on the canal, because that's quite exciting as well. Ah, this is looking promising. Well, look, it says danger keep out, but then we can walk straight in. I think when it says danger keep out, it means don't go in in there where my hand is. I don't think they'll mind my hand. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I think it's possibly the concern of falling masonry hence why they've put this little deck here in that's not very medieval to just in case any stones were to fall so we can go into the castle which i'm quite pleased about oh, this, br this brings back the memories when i came here as a young boy with that friend of mine um i was a bit older and i remember we went out there and we walked around the side and he got a bit worried saying i think we're lost but i was like no no it's fine it's a it's a hexagon we'll come back to where we started and we did so i think the spiral staircase would have been there somewhere and it's it's gone so you've got this section of masonry surviving have a look around I'm not sure what that is because i'd suggest that's a fireplace but there's no flue that certainly is a fireplace above us and i can see so i would have been on the ground floor the ceiling would have been just here above my head going by those holes so there'd have been the main floor here where you know the biggest of the windows are and then I, there might have been two fireplaces, there might have been one there and then a small one up on the next floor above that one. So then you'd have probably been able to get out onto the roof. So it's quite interesting to see what's left of it. What I'm going to do now though, we're going to go out of here. So I think all those years ago, this is where a young king was living and he went, or staying at least, and he got on his horse and he rode to Sina Magna Carta. The Basingstoke Canal, of course, wouldn't have been there in King John days or anyone else's days who I've mentioned. Um, that arrived in 1792. Obviously, there were no railways when they built the canal, so Basingstoke, being a fairly large town, wanted to get on the canal network. I did a video, a few videos at Basingstoke at the Milestones Museum, which although I can't think of any direct connection with King John's Castle, the Milestones Museum is a fascinating place. And if you want to have a look at the videos I made there, then do have a look at the link on screen now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to rejoin the canal. We're going to continue walking towards Basingstoke. We're not actually going to go to Basingstoke. Interestingly, this section of the canal does have a boat on it. But boats can't go that much further this way. Because the thing I'm really excited about seeing again, or as excited about seeing King John's Castle again, is Greywell Tunnel, which is blocked and home to bats and I believe possibly a section of it collapsed. So the thing to do now is I'm just going to continue a little way up the canal and we're going to go and find Greywell Tunnel. I'm a little way up the canal now. Water's so clear. When I last came down here the water was very stagnant and really not moving. I don't, obviously boats don't really come up this section but we saw a boat back there. Now this is interesting. Have a look here. This, to me, looks like an old lock. You can see narrows right in. Obviously, there's something with the water height has remained the same. So, I suppose when we get through to the other side of the lock, it's going to be a lot further down to the water level, maybe. Or there'll be a bit of a waterfall. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is quite clearly an old lock. If you have a look there imagine them opening and closing the lock gates all those years ago we can't be too far now we are yeah we're definitely now a bit higher above this is more how i remember it there's a lot of um, weeds if you look through the weeds see how it's the water quality looks better but it's very overgrown it was like this all the way along and it was really you know not that nice so it, there's there's been improvements it'd be quite exciting to think that the canal tunnel could be reopened one day but i think the two problems are one is there's a collapse and two 
it's a huge population of bats live in there and bats are protected species so that's probably another reason why yeah we're definitely you can see now we're not quite at the low level we were when we were back down at the castle so i think the tunnel's going to be quite soon so i'm going to keep walking until we find it well now I'll come a bit further up the canal you can see the water it's getting more how i remember it to be sort of quite stagnant and overgrown it's further down the tunnel oh here we are here here it is it's just pretty much how i remember it just over there the tunnel i remember you could look in i think because all of this wasn't here from about down there i remember looking down to the tunnel and seeing it was blocked i remember being told it was blocked by my parents and um the friends we had and i think well it doesn't look blocked but it's when you got further down you could see it was so you can't get a boat through unfortunately the tunnel collapsed in the 1930s it's quite a long tunnel it's um I think it's about 1,200 yards, oh, some information here, 1,230 yards it is. It was built between 1788 and 1792. There were no towpaths, so you had to leg through, as that picture shows. I once legged a boat for a tunnel at the Black Country Living Museum. Great fun. So, just see what it says. So, yeah, it basically says that that was the end of the canal in 1932, or this section, when it was closed. You used to be able to get through on a canoe into the late 1950s but now it's basically impossible to get through so we're not going into the tunnel but the path goes that way but as soon as there is a path down to the tunnel it'd be rude not to go and have a, a look at it i think the path then continues in fact it does i remember on top of the tunnel so we'll, we'll do that and we'll have a look down at the canal um i'm was tempted to go and look for the other side but i think that's gonna be a video for another day if um you know, I'd be interested to know what's at the other end of the tunnel, but obviously have to go over land to find it. And I don't have an OS map of the area, so I'm kind of, you know, exploring with the best I can. Anyway, here is the mouth of Greywell Tunnel. And go a bit closer. I wonder if we can see the blockade. Um, let's have a look. I don't want to drop my camera in. Oh yeah, look, see that? So that's what I remember I could see from about 50 yards on. So here we are, this is Greywell Tunnel. See how it's a bit, it's not, the water looks better in there, a bit stagnant, stagnatized, I don't know if that's a word, but look at it that way. It's uh, very kind of, um, well, lots of weeds and everything. So what we're gonna do now, let's go up there, let's go up above the tunnel, get one last look along the canal. There we are, that is Greywell Tunnel. Always find tunnels fascinating. Railway tunnels, road tunnels, canal tunnels, just exciting. Make our way back up these steps. So other parts of the Brazen's Oak Canal, further towards London, are still in use. Well, it seems this part was back there. So one day I'd, I'd like to explore it all. Um, there's one section where it goes, there's an aqueduct over the southwestern main line. Okay, so the footpath that goes off down there, but that's not what we're doing today. We're going to go down here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too much like a canal, but that is the Basingstoke Canal. Bit of a shame, really, seeing it like this. This is how I first remember seeing it as a child, although I'd be more down here. So I think probably all these stinging nettles weren't there. Going by the fact that I say it was really, really muddy, it must have been in the spring maybe that we did this walk. I think what we'll do now, we'll go and we'll go to the village of Greywell where I'll finish the video. So the footpath turns into more like an alleyway between two houses, but here we are. This is now the village of Greywell. So I'll come out here. So where I started was just down that road down there where we saw the river at Deptford Bridge. I think it's called Deptford Bridge because this is Deptford Lane. So the village of Odium itself is one and a half miles. This is now the village centre of Greywell. So the tunnel basically runs under there somewhere. Um, like I say, it's tempting to go and look for it. I think that's a video for another day. So here we are. This is the very pleasant looking village of Greywell. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to come and see the tunnel for yourself, then it's a really pleasant walk, but you kind of, there might be the odd bus service to the village, but I think it's really sort of place you need to come to by car. So from the village of Greywell, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.